Hi guys, uh, today's story is about the triumph entry. Now I've got my Huey with me. Now who are you going to be Huey? Ah, Thomas. We all know about Thomas, don't we? Remember he's doubting Thomas? Now, they were going to go into, I'll tell you the, the scene. Um, they've just come from Lazarus the day before. Um, they've been to a, um, a, a feast. And all the people that Lazarus had been brought back to life by Jesus. And you've got to remember, remind me something, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't let me forget. Stones, right? Stones. Okay. I must not forget that. Right, they've just come from, it was, now it's five days until Jesus was going to be killed by the uh, temple, temple leaders and the um, temple leaders and the Romans. Okay, they got together and they were going to kill Jesus. Now, Thomas didn't want to go up to Jerusalem because he was, he said, we'll all go up there and die. Jesus had told them that he was going to die, but they, they didn't really take it in. They, I don't know, they didn't take it in. But anyway, all these people, because they'd um, been, um, they, they, they knew about this uh, dinner that was to honour Lazarus, uh, to honour Jesus because of Lazarus coming back to life. They all went, they went along, and they wanted to see this Lazarus, and they wanted to see Jesus as well. So they were hanging around. So the following day, when Jesus had started to go up to Jerusalem, he was in a place called Bethany, which is where Mary and Martha lived. And uh, yeah, you was with them, wasn't you? And they went up um, on their way to uh, the Mount of Olives. And before they got there, Jesus said to uh, a couple of the disciples, now disciples, uh, uh, there was 12 disciples and they were friends of Jesus. They were following him and they were close friends and he was teaching them. And he was one of them, wasn't you? And um, he said to them, now go into the local village and you'll find a colt there, um, which is a baby donkey tied upside a house. Now go and say to the owner, I need that donkey or the owner needs the donkey. Uh, if he asks you what you're, why you're taking it. And uh, it happened just as Jesus said. Now, I've, I've got a little um, donkey here with me, and uh, I don't know whether you can see it, but um, on its back is a cross. And I think, isn't that amazing that God designed it, that a donkey should have a cross on it, being that Jesus went into um, Jerusalem riding on donkey, and he was going to the cross, but um, that's how God designed uh, the donkey. Um, so um, a, a, a baby donkey has never been ridden, be, ridden before. So Jesus got on the donkey and the disciples put a coat on the donkey so that he could ride. And all this crowd, that, that was a miracle in itself that Jesus could ride on a on a donkey that had never been risen before, ridden before because um, with horses you have to what they call break them in so so they could, they could be used to someone sitting on them. So anyway Jesus went on this cult and he went, they went down the Mount of Olives and this huge crowd had um, that had been following him uh, and, and been with the, the feast the following day um, and some what they call Pharisees, the temple leaders. Um, they were with them too. And uh, as they went down the Mount of Olives, uh, the people started shouting. And they started shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the, the king who comes in the name of the Lord. And uh, um, what else did he, they say? Something about, um, um, O daughter of Zion, here is, your, here is the king of Israel. And uh, see, no one expected a king to come on a donkey. 
but it was prophesied 600 years before by a prophet named Jeremiah. And uh, when David, around that time, um, wrote the Psalms, it was written about in Psalm 118 that the donkey comes um, with the king on it. So, uh, yes, yeah, so Jesus just was fulfilling everything that had been said about him. And when Jesus comes again, which he is going to, he's going to come on a white horse this time, and it tells us that in the Bible. <coughs> so what about these stones then? Oh, before, oh yeah, before that, oh, everyone starts shouting out, um, praising Jesus coming in the name of the Lord, but um, the, the, the leaders didn't like this. They said, they said to Jesus, look, can't you do something to stop them? And Jesus said, and now this is where the stones come in, doesn't it? That he, Jesus said, now, if they don't, they, if they don't um, shout out, he said, the stones would shout out, Hosanna. Blessed is the one that comes in the name of the Lord. And uh, they couldn't really say anything about that. But uh, in amongst themselves, um, do you remember um, Lazarus being brought back to life? Now, they, their intentions was not only to kill Jesus, but to kill Lazarus, because that was the reason why all these people were turning to Jesus and believing in him. And um, the Pharisees said, look, they said, the whole world is following Jesus. And um, what can we do about it? You know, it's just out of our hands. But this was prophesied that he would come to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Now, this was five days before he was killed. And um, that's just an amazing story, isn't it? But the disciples, they didn't, they didn't really understand that he was going there to, to be crucified. But that's how the story unfolds. Okay? That was a good story, wasn't it? Now, I'll say a prayer, shall I? Okay, Father, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord, that um, all the disciples uh, believed in you. And um, we just thank you, Lord, that you fulfilled prophecy that you would be the king coming in the name of the Lord. And we just, uh, we just thank you for Thomas, that he didn't, he didn't seem to believe things and he was even called Doubting Thomas and we just ask you to help us in our unbelief that um, you are the king of the world. Amen. Well that was good. <laughs>
Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. So that's on um, one of those. So if I fold this in half. down here and fold that over like that one and then I put some two stick tape on the little flat bit now which one do I put that on Put it on this side. So, just a small bit to go inside that triangle. Like that. And then this goes, if you get this corner here to the the fold line so that it will open up easy and then when you close it like that it's uh, it sits good like so now I put some two stick tape on this piece. I need to put some two stick tape on the end of here because that will be stuck to the end here. Just a little bit on the end. I've aligned this, I've done it so that the, you've aligned it with the stones, but I've done a little line here to help you to line it up. Like that one. So it doesn't, it lines up nicely there. You might have to just finish off those stones there if you want to. I've coloured it in with um, wax crown because I found that easier and these with uh, felt tips but you can use your imagination for whatever colour stones you want. So that's, how, that's that one done. Now this one I'll just cut, take the two stick tape off here and how it lays comfortable I've Put that up to here and then go on fly off you go and then if I fold it so that it finds its natural fold like that then I open it up and there you are this is your busy art and I'm sure you'll have fun doing it um, and you'll remember the story. Okay, God bless. Until next time. Bye.